آه يا نيمار آه آه يا نيمار ثم نيمار آه يا 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 نيمار We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Footmas is not over. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 85 Footmas Farid Bulaya episode. You guys thought Footmas was over, you thought incorrectly. We've got two cards that are still left, we've got that Rusion, and then we've got this Farid Bulaya card, uh, which I believe are available to grind objectives for the next four or five days or so, uh, and today I thought we would properly end Footmas on December 26th, I know we're one day after Christmas, so a very Merry Merry Christmas to you guys. Uh, apologies for not uploading, uploading yesterday. I spent time with the family, just wanted to chill out, relax, kind of decompress. Uh, but more importantly though, Icon Swaps 2 was released today. And it seems the community is a little bit split. No primes included in this Icon Swaps 2. Raul, I think for the amount of tokens that it requires. And then also possibly that Zambrota, even though on the RTG, I'm probably going to stick with Mbabu. And then that uh, that 90 Del Piero looks kind of spicy. So those are the kind of just early reactions. Those are the guys I'm looking at. If you guys want a video, maybe I could do a dedicated video for tomorrow's first upload if you guys would want to see that drop a like on the video let me know on twitter let me know in the comments if you guys do want to see a, a an icon swaps 2 video with my uh, opinions and thoughts on it uh if you guys are new to the channel like i always say hit that subscribe button down below but today it is all about farid bulaya sees himself get a 395 total in-game stat upgrade from his 73 rated base card so he literally is one of those cards goes from obscurity to a guy that people in my opinion, should probably get even before you see how he plays in game for this review. Again, he's very, he's v relatively easy to get if you consider some of the objectives that we've had before. The most difficult one we'll start off with is the classic wing winger objective score finesse shot using league and players and three separate rivals win. So like that's not super, super difficult, but it's also a little bit grindy. It's easily the most grindy one. Skiller score six goals using five star uh, skill moves in rivals. That's easy enough. Should be able to get that one done in this episodia. And then score using an Algerian player in three separate squad battles wins on min semi pro so that's really really easy the interesting thing about this card is if you did the atal you have one of the cooler i don't want to say one of the most one of the craziest but certainly an op one one of the cooler hyperlinks in fifa now it's not a perfect link they're not in the same club but they're same uh, same league same nationality uh five star weak foot uh, four star skill moves atal and then we have this five star skill move four star weak foot bolaya so very very cool league and turning into a very nuts looking uh nuts looking side we've got that 86 ben yetter which dropped yesterday wanted to test him out so that's going to give us an opportunity to do that in this game like i said boys the stats a 395 total in-game stat upgrade has only 38 less total in-game stats than neymar oh so that's God. why we're sort of branding him the algerian neymar four star weak foot five star skill moves he's got himself 89 acceleration 88 sprint speed we're not going to touch that we've gone ahead and jacked him off with the sniper chem style attacking positioning goes over 90 the dribbling stats are nuts the reactions is the only thing that has me a little bit a uh, little bit hesitant but has really really nice balance elite level balance if you put the sniper chem style agility goes up to 99 ball control 95 dribbling 99 82 stamina and then uh, 81 uh, jumping which isn't uh, which isn't that big of a deal but then 95 shot power and then 84 long shots with some decent passing stats now if I were to really go into the, into a game of weekend league I'd consider possibly using like a catalyst or maybe an engine or something that gets the passing stats jacked off a little bit uh, because we want that long passing up a little bit but everything else is really nice free kick accuracy vision crossing even curve is 87 uh, so curve obviously um, affects the way that the ball, if he passes, like he'll have that little like curve trajectory or whatnot. Uh, so we'll we'll pay attention to that. But a very, very nuts looking card for, again, not an SBC. It's time. It's not one of the SBCs that requires a coin input or untradables. It is a time input. So it, it does cost something, but it's your time versus, uh, versus um, like monetary stuff in game. So we're going to get into a couple matches here. Match number one with Farid Bolaya, a.k.a. is he the Algerian, uh, Algerian Neymar? We're we're about to find out. Match number one, Los Gates. Al Jaid, Algeria. All right, Moses Daddy Simon Bulea over there. Why? Al Jaid, Algeria. Coincidence? We're about to find out. Let's have him on free roam. I don't even know what that does, but we're going to have him on free roam. Laurent Blanc is on stay back while attacking. Messi's on stay forward. Ben Yedder stay forward. Get him behind. Uh, and then we're going to have Moses Daddy Simon on stay forward as well. So have no idea what free roam does, but we're about to test it out. A professional skiller like Danny R9 Rai would have known that that skill move right there would have taken him out of bounds. 
I'm dude, I'm still working on it, boys. But guys, legitimately tell me that you haven't been, tell me that you've been impressed by my skills in the past couple episodes, dude. Tell me that you haven't been, tell me that you've been impressed by my skills in the past couple episodes, dude. Legit, my goal for 2020 is to be an actual skiller. Legit, my goal for 2020 is to be an actual skiller. Al Jaid, Algeria. Dude, Farid Boulaya, go on, cue the Algerian dubke. If I had a little bit more space, I'd do a dubke for you guys. I'd do a traditional Lebanese dubke. I'm not sure how Al Algeria does it. I'm not even sure if Algeria does dubke. Man, that was uh, that was a thing of beauty, dude. We put his keeper on his uh, we put his keeper on his ass. Woo! Come on, boys. Oh, Messi! Messiah! 2-2. Two, two. Looked like it was maybe going to get out of hand there early. But we bring it back on the heels of a Farid Bolaya skilling masterclass. And then also a uh, Lionel Zwesi, uh Lionel Zwesi skilling masterclass. You're shit! Yes, Chef, I am. You are so shit, it's unbelievable. Now, here's the problem. You're shit! Okay. I can become the world's best skiller. I could become... <laughs> The best skiller in all of FIFA 20 if I wanted to, right? If I spent hours on stream, in videos, practicing my skill moves, I could do it. But it won't mean anything if I can't learn how to defend. I played FIFA for about, I don't know, I'm not a boomer, so what, a few years? When I'm able to finish gold one in foot champs, which, you know, that, that's like elite. It's not elite, because it's not elite, right? But um, that's like an elite level finish. It's like 1% type stuff. Okay, no, no, no. Fareed Belaya's card is just a joke. Long story short, I need to learn how to defend. And I shouldn't have played that either. I should have just done a regular pass. I'm sorry, what? So at halftime, I think it's fair to say that we put on a little bit of a skill show right here. We're winning possession, 57%. Uh, this guy's... Very, look, let's not get it... He's, his, his squad name is Trash FC, but let's not get it twisted. This guy's very good. Ben Yedder's been... Hasn't scored a goal for us, but he's decent up top at striker, putting himself in good positions. Messi's Messi. Uh, Laurent Blanc. Again, we've got the combo of uh, Mendy, Ramos, Silva, Atal, and Laurent Blanc. And we've conceded, conceded four goals. It, it says more about the quality of our opponent and less about our playing style. As you guys saw that the go uh, goal number three or four that we conceded was 100% me pulling my player out of position. Ooh, Vissam Ben Yedder. The only thing that freaks me out about that, uh, the 86 Vissam Ben Yedder is the, the stamina. Vissam Ben Yedder. If anything, I think that the release of the 86 makes me want to go for the, uh, makes me want to get the 85. Oh my god, what a save! Alright, Laurent Blanc. Referee, come on, let's go! Oh damn, dude, we don't really have pen takers. Bruh, Laurent Blanc is the best, is one of the best pen takers on the squad. All right, hold on. You want to power up and then you want to aim. All right, well, can confirm Laurent Blanc can convert pens. Dude, he's done that so many times where even when skill moves don't necessarily register properly, he's able to keep control. He's got the, uh, he's got that sticky factor that I always refer to. All right, one more chance. 
This is it. Julian Drexler, 5-4 in the 90th minute. What is this game, dude? I was not expecting to make that, but I will take it. Farid Boulaya ha has a goal to kick things off. Messi has a goal. Vissam Ben Yedder has a goal, and then someone else. But his Inaki Williams, dude, his Inaki Williams was rapid. Absolute scenes. Farid Boulaya, 18 out of 19 passes completed. Crosses completed. We didn't attempt too many. Two out of two. Uh, and then no goal assist. Lionel Messi obviously provided some. Ben Yedder, and then Moses Daddy Simon. But you guys saw there some of those skill moves we put on display. Absolute madness. Come on, bro. That's got to be bottom left. Damn it. See what, do you see what this guy's capable of? There we go, Laurent Blanc. Nice little interception. Some Ben Yedder. He's pulling, dude, he's putting on the jet. Dude, he's pulling some Jedi mind tricks type stuff out right now. Ah, yeah, AI blocks, man. That was the game winner. Come on, boys. Oh, draft start. There we go. For whatever reason, his his keeper went into the back of the net. Farid Bolaya can finish a mad lad crossover from Moses Daddy Simon, arguably the best Ligue 1 player in FIFA that's not named Messi, to the Algerian Messi, Farid Mad Lad Bouyala. Seven goals in two matches played. The goal to game contribution wouldn't tell you uh, wouldn't tell you that, but he's a he was a very important piece for this in, for this 4-3-3 working for creating the space for Ben Yedder to get into for Messi to get into his spaces. I'm not going to say this card is free because obviously you know the time component. I said it at the start of Icon Swaps number one. The time component is a thing, but in terms of time put in for what you get back, for those of us that run League Unsides, for those of us that like having uh, League Unside like I do. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say 5 out of 5 in terms of value. It doesn't take much time at all to complete this card. You get one of the better uh, wingers in league. And like I said, minus 38 total in game stats, less than 92 Neymar on an 85 rated left uh, left winger, uh, right winger card that you can switch to either side in game. But uh, in my opinion, incredibly, incredibly good value. And in my opinion, a nice little way to end foot miss. Not something that you have to put coins into, but something that you can side, uh, sort of little mini objective that you can grind towards. Uh, in terms of on the pitch performance, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5. Again, two goals, not lighting it up. Again, no assists, doesn't exactly uh, shine light lighting it up as well. But the skill moves and the ability for him to uh, create chances for other players on the pitch is something that I'm definitely going to take into account with this card. And honestly, was just one of those cards that was hella fun to use. And the main point for me is uh, he's relatively easy to attain, doesn't require an SBC or anything like that. Uh, just a couple of objectives. So that is going to be us for a cheeky little Thursday. We've got a reward stream later tonight. We're going to be looking at icon swaps. I'll give you guys my thoughts live over on the Mixer stream. Uh, and then if you guys want it, I could do like an Icon Swaps episode here tomorrow and kind of give my thoughts on uh, Icon Swaps too and some of the players that I'm looking at. Del Piero. Hint, hint. But anyway, my bros, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.